Hello there, this is a tutorial for the Geometry Nodes Procedural Revolve. In the previous tutorial we have talked about how to build a procedural revolve yourself, but here is a little tool with a little extra options uh, when, with which you can create revolves in two different ways. This is the option that we spoke about the last time, in the last tutorial, so if we Turn this one off and we look at this phase we go with tap into edit mode we see a curve and with this curve we can change the shape of the phase so we can extrude it and scale it uh, scale it from the point itself and you see that we can create all kinds of shapes with this if we go into the texture uh, render mode we can see also that it's already uv unwrapped and it will be unwrapped whatever you do so if you want to texture this you can just uh, add a square in your materials right here now there's just a standard texture from blender but if you open another texture you can map it onto the face we go into geometry nodes here we see the node for the revolve curve so we are revolving from a curve if we go back a little bit to the initial shape of the face and then also we can uh, select this one turn this one off and this one works a little bit different uh, as you can see here it needs an image input if we go into rendering and see the image this is what we put in, so we can just draw a curve in Illustrator or Photoshop or wherever you want. And from there we get a shape. And this shape is also unwrapped. And there we also, just like the other one, have the possibility to add the edge loops in the X and Y dimensions or the vertical and horizontal uh, loops. In this way we can create high poly or low poly models. We can also make it that it has more subdivisions so it gets sharper corners or get a little bit rounder corners. We look here, we clearly see what happens. And everything is also UV unwrapped this way. So with this tool you can create uh, the vases or glass or bowls that you want in a very easy way by just importing an image or by adjusting the curve. So I hope this is useful and uh, see you in the next one.